Well, thank you for joining me, Brianna. Definitely. I'm so happy to be here. Like she said, I'm Amanda from Guide for Geek Moms. And let's just start off because I want to hear all about it, how you got the part and tell us a little bit about your character. Yeah. Okay. So um, getting the part was really fun. Okay. Um, kind of with voiceovers, you you do a lot of your auditions and you don't really always know what's going to land or what's going to happen with a lot of acting, especially. Um, but I got the call back and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, this is kind of fun because this is a singing role, obviously. And I love to sing <laughs> like Rainbow Puppy. It's actually very similar. Um, so already getting that and knowing that it was singing was like amazing for me and then doing the callback I just remember closing the computer after because I think we were still in COVID so um I had the the closet <laughs> recording studio and everything and I remember closing the computer and be like oh my gosh that felt good that felt really good and sometimes it's hard to feel that because you're mm -hmm. so focused on the role and everything um and just doing your best but I seriously had fun with it and I think that's when you know you're like okay I had fun and that's it. I'm good to go. Um, so that was that experience. And when I heard about the news, I was like, oh, man, I can't believe that's actually happening. Um, and you, you asked a second question. You said oh, about my just character. a little bit. Yeah, a little bit about your character. Yeah. Um, so Rainbow Puppy is always happy. She's very energetic. She's very curious. Um, she loves being adventurous. And I think uh, the coolest thing about her is obviously with the way she acts and the way she looks, she is different and she stands out, but she's a part of the family. And that is a really, really, really important thing about this character. It is. So I, I was going to ask, but I think I even know the answer. Like, what is something you wanted to bring to, you know, your character from yourself that, to, to actually make it a part of like its personality or whatever? Totally. Well, there's actually a funny thing that I talk about with my friends sometimes um, where she sings randomly and okay. someone caught me today doing it. But I sing randomly. I do that. Um, and that was something that I think actually I did in the callback and then in the um, final audition and everything. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that was actually really fun because that's just like me. I just do that all the time. So being able to just riff and do like little things on the side, that was a huge part of my personality. Definitely. <laughs> that's what I was going to guess, too. I was like, I bet it's the singing. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so were you a fan before though like the show have you watched the episodes before yeah. and, and oh so you knew yeah so I already knew Blue's Clues I actually grew up with it um so already hearing it was like whoa like for real Blue's Clues like out of everything that could have possibly happened um I was so excited and I actually had a thinking chair when I was little so yeah <laughs> I had a little, <laughs> little thinking chair for kids uh -huh. I don't know if they make them anymore but I feel like they should. Um, but yeah, I had that when I was younger and I would sit in the thinking chair all the time. I had my notebook and I had the crayon and I would actually like be a part of the show. So even when we were, this is all like actually coming back to me, I would sit and watch and I would color in my notebook, my handy dandy notebook. Aww. So yeah, talk about full circle. <laughs> it was meant to be. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to watch some of the screeners. And I loved it. I did. Have you seen any? Okay. So I've seen little things. Obviously, I can't talk about a lot. Okay. But yeah. um, I mean, acting in it, you kind of get the experience just yeah. from the angle. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you saw all of them? Or some well, with a, just a handful. But this okay. was something I was trying to figure out that I was like, maybe Brianna can help me. Because okay. the other dogs, right? Like Blue and Magenta, they're kind of just like, Ur, like make noises and stuff. But you get to talk and sing. Uh -huh. So yes. What is different about yours that makes her able to okay. do this? First of all, that's a great observation, actually. <laughs> that's a huge part of the character that I think you realize once you keep watching, you're like, oh, wait, she's the only dog that talks and sings. But um, she also dances. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think just the fact that she has the ability to is a huge part of who the character is. Um, I think the nature of the show is it's always been a really genuine and authentic experience with kids growing up. But now that we are so expressive and we're learning to be more, more vulnerable and we're just learning to be more expressive people, I think it was really important for a new character to be able to tap into that. And you can see it from the colors of her fur. You can see it. Yeah. Um, but I think it's all about being a little bit different and how that can be okay. And now, do they ever go to explain it like magic or something? <laughs> um, there's definitely magic involved. Okay. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I'm wondering if that will be in 
like a, a further explanation at some point. It's possible. It's possible. I'm going to be waiting <laughs> for it. I am. <laughs> now, why do you think that though this show has like lasted over so many generations of kids? Oh, that, I love that question, first of all, because <laughs> um, I definitely relate to it growing up with it. Yeah, I, It's one of the only shows that I actually remember growing up. And I think the reason why is because you actually learn from it. You really do. A lot of kids shows are fun. They have great music. They have, you know, uh, really interactive characters or um, the way that the show works. But this is not only learning, it's acceptance. You're growing with the characters. You're learning through them and the different challenges that they take. And you also have the ability to make your own choices while you're watching. And I think that is like, it's very unique. I I don't know who else does that very well. (laughs) So especially for kids, because they fully get to be in it, you know? Yeah. I mean, my kids, I loved it. My kids loved it. So that's why I'm like, it's just neat to see, you know, all the generations in and how it constantly changes to keep up with them, you know? Mm -hmm. So you have like the DVD coming out, you're right. Like you have your own DVD though. What is it? Blues, Clues, and News, Rainbow Puppy Adventures. Mm-hmm. Have you even saw a plush? Have you have like your own plush come in or? Yeah. So I actually didn't know if that was public knowledge yet. Oh, well, I just, I, maybe <laughs> well, it's maybe, not. I, just, I it was on Google. It is. Google told me. <laughs> Google said it. Google said it. It's done. Um, no, yeah. I have actually seen one and they're so cool. I'm not gonna lie. I did cry when I saw it. I cried. Um, That's what I was wondering. I'm like, how does it feel to like have your own plush? (laughs) It's funny because you asked me about how the experience was when I first heard about the role and like getting Uh it. And one of the first things I thought about was like, oh my goodness, there might be like, there might be plushies. I I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but yeah. So that was pretty amazing. (laughs) Oh, little kids are going to be hugging and snuggling you all the time. It's so cute. All right. (laughs) I think I have a time for at least, well, one more question. Okay. It'll be a fun one. Cause I'm just, you know, you like to hear all the behind the scenes stuff. So can you like tell us something that maybe we don't know a blooper or a fun fact or something from like behind the scenes that yeah. might interest the audience? Let's see. So most people don't know right now that during COVID, like we were still recording. So that is like a huge thing. Um, A lot of recording people, if you're like an actor, you have your own setup at home. But fun fact, (laughs) I hope I'm allowed to say this. Fun (laughs) fact, um, I actually recorded some of it in my closet for real. Okay. (laughs) For a TV show, but Uh technology is so good now that Mm -hmm. you, if you can imagine me sitting like, or standing, I mostly stand when I record, especially because I sing, Mm -hmm. but um, in front of the mic and you probably think I'm in a whole studio. Sometimes I am, and I'm like solo in the studio um, due to safety measures. But other times, if you can imagine behind the scenes, I'm in a tiny little, tiny little closet. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, what was the size of it? <laughs> uh, I, it was definitely a little bigger than it like could have been. So it could be very small. I've seen people use very, very small. But I mean, the sound quality is amazing. So you learn it as you go through it. And it's fun. It's yeah. honestly a little it bit seems, more fun. I bet. I bet. It seems yeah. like it would be. <laughs> I loved it. And I I can't wait to see more, more of it to see if they figure out why, you know, the magic of making your sound human. And <laughs> <laughs> it is a good question. I, well, thank you for joining me and taking the time out. And thank uh, you. It was so great. nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.